Welcome back everyone. You know, I think if we took a shot every time we got a Christian Wood update, we would pretty much all be passed out on the ground right now, and now we need to add yet another update to that list. According to veteran NBA reporter Mark Stein, the Lakers have quote-unquote maintained a level of interest in signing Christian Wood, but that they are not interested in making a sign and trade for him. And in my opinion, it's more than simply a small level of interest. They would have filled the 14th spot on their roster a long time ago if they weren't waiting for him, but now the question that many people have is what is taking them so long? I have seen plenty of comments saying the Lakers are dumb or don't know what they're doing by not signing Christian Wood yet, though it's really not their fault here. If you understand how the salary cap works in the NBA, then you'll know that they are limited to offering him a minimum level contract, which I can't imagine he would be too eager to accept. I mean, the guy is coming off of making over $14 million in one year last season, and that would drop to only about $2.5 million if he took a minimum level contract. Although I would not completely rule it out here, because in reality, he might have no other option, and there are a number of factors that are contributing to his situation, all of which we are going to talk about in today's video. But real quick before we get into it, if you have been enjoying the everyday content here on my channel, then I would really appreciate it if you could take a brief moment to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. Without wasting any more time here though, let's dive right into it, and we'll begin by reviewing why the Lakers are not willing to make a sign and trade for him, which many fans have wanted them to do. However, it would not really make sense for them to do that. For one, they would have to give up Jared Vanderbilt to make a sign and trade work for him. Due to them being hard capped, they are not able to give him much more than a minimum level contract without going over the tax apron, which would therefore require them to trade somebody in return for him, and their only tradable player with a contract that would work for that happens to be Vanderbilt. And I for one would not be willing to trade Vanderbilt for Wood, and especially when it requires giving Wood a 3 year contract which, if you did not know, is the bare minimum you can give a player when making a sign and trade for them. They would be giving up their best swing defender for a situational big man, meaning that their matchup will determine how valuable it can be to their rotation. And while I'm not saying that Wood cannot help them, I am saying that I would not be willing to make a sign and trade for him, which thankfully they do not appear to be either. I don't think we have to go too in depth with that one, and we really shouldn't have to when it comes to why they have not outright signed him yet either. Like I mentioned before, the most they can offer him without making a sign and trade for him is a minimum level contract, and I can't imagine he'd be too happy to take that. Now, you can argue over whether or not he's worth more than that, but the NBA does not appear to think so. At this point, the most any team has offered him has been a minimum level contract. Although, there are a few remaining teams who can still offer him more than that, and that's what Christian Wood is likely waiting for. It's not the Lakers here who aren't doing anything. It's all about Christian Wood waiting until he's got no better option. And you really can't blame the guy for that either. I mean, it might be attractive to join a contender and play with LeBron and Anthony Davis, but an extra 5 to 8 million dollars sounds pretty good too. And especially that could come while also playing for a semi-good team. Now, I don't think any real contender will offer him anything more than a minimum at this point, but a few borderline playoff teams could, with the most noteworthy one being the Chicago Bulls. We did talk about this during my last Christian Wood video, but to quickly reiterate here, they were granted a $10.2 million disabled player exception, which came from the unfortunate nagging injury that Lonzo Ball cannot seem to get over. And after getting it, many people assumed that they would immediately offer it to Christian Wood, and I think he was hoping that too, though that obviously never panned out. And if you're wondering why that hasn't happened, the Bulls team owner has been notorious for not being willing to pay the luxury tax, and with them only being about 1.8 million away from it, that would mean taking on a big luxury tax bill by giving Wood that contract. I know that many Laker fans tend to think that Genie Buss is the only owner who does not like spending luxury tax money, but that applies to pretty much every owner, and it definitely applies to longtime Bulls owner Jerry Reinsdorf. In fact, the Bulls have only paid the luxury tax one time in franchise history, and I really doubt they'll go against that history for Christian Wood. I mean, he definitely could help them a little bit, but he's not making the difference between them making a deep playoff run or not. But even looking beyond them, with a few other playoff threats like Memphis, New Orleans, and even Philadelphia still having their mid-level exception to offer, Christian Wood will continue to wait it out and hope they offer it to him, as he really has nothing to lose at this point. 
Although, the thing that Christian Wood, along with many other teams, are really waiting for happens to be a trade involving Damian Lillard and or James Harden. Those two are really the reason for everything being at a standstill right now. Because following them requesting a trade to their respective teams, everything has kind of been put on pause, and especially when it comes to teams spending money. After all, you never know who could be involved in a trade of that magnitude, and oftentimes that will create a need within a team's rotation, which can lead to them being willing to sign a player that they are not willing to before the trade happened. And I imagine that is what Christian Wood is hoping for. Now, it might be wishful thinking at this point for him, but hey, he really has nothing to lose here. I mean, a Damian Lillard trade alone could involve four or five different teams, and that could change the entire landscape of the NBA, which could bode very well for a guy like Christian Wood. And then if you throw in a James Harden trade too, who knows what the NBA could look like after all of that, and that could directly translate to a renewed interest in the free agent market. At the end of the day though, all the Lakers can do is wait if their number one remaining priority is indeed Christian Wood, which is definitely what it looks like too. At this point, the thing they are waiting for is either a Damian Lillard trade, a James Harden trade, or the beginning of training camp. It's really whatever comes first here. I truly do think that is what it will come down to, and barring the Chicago Bulls going against their 40 year history when it comes to paying the luxury tax, I don't see the waiting game ending for a little while yet. I mean, I'm really, and I mean really hoping I'm wrong with that one, but this could go on for another 2 or 3 weeks if not longer, and with there not being any real update regarding a trade involving Damian Lillard and or James Harden, I would be shocked if it happened sooner than that. To wrap everything up here though, you can get angry at the Lakers if you want to, but there's really nothing they can do about it when it comes to signing Christian Wood. He's obviously not willing to take a minimum level contract at this point, and then they are not willing to make a sign and trade for him to give him more than that, nor should they be willing to either. And although I do think he would be a pretty good fit for their rotation, I would really not be that mad if he went elsewhere, especially if he got signed for more than a veteran minimum. But hopefully this video helped you out if you are a bit confused on why things are taking so long here. There's a lot that goes into a free agent picking a new team, and that definitely applies when it comes to taking a massive pay cut like Christian Wood might have to. With all of that in mind though, what do you guys think? How do you feel about the Christian Wood situation? And do you ultimately think that he'll end up becoming a Laker? Comment your thoughts down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.